Hi there, my name's Austin, and I'd like to talk to you about the features coming to ARM Treasure Data in June 2020. For new features this month, we've got a couple. The first is the Integrations Hub Policy-Based Permissions, which is being released in beta. This allows you to manage policy permissions for every aspect of your workflows. Another feature this month is the Activation Copy. This allows you to quickly take an activation, copy its settings, and then tweak them as you see fit. This enables quicker, easier, GUI-friendly activations, so you don't have to be nearly as technical to get up and running, or change things if need be. In addition, PyTD hit v1.3.0 this month. This has come with a number of new features and ease of use implementations, so I recommend checking it out today. This month we've got a large list of new connector features and betas being released. For new connectors, the TD Data Exchange exporter got an improvement this month that allows you to use a new secure endpoint for better security management for exporting data from Treasure Data back into Treasure Data. We've also added a Yahoo DMP export connector this month. In addition, the Instagram exporter has been improved this month to support page media, tags, and comments. In addition, this month we've got a couple betas, namely the SAP Digital Platform, formerly known as Gigya, LinkedIn, and Repro. If you'd like to try any of these, please reach out to your customer service agent today and they can get you started. Finally, we've got one big announcement this month. The Pandas TD library has been archived on GitHub. This means you can still reach it and download it, but no new comments, bugs, or issues can be raised on it. If you're still using Pandas TD, we encourage you to switch to using PyTD today, as PyTD will have all of the support going forward, as well as new feature releases. Thank you so much for joining us again this month. We'll see you next month. Stay safe, y'all, and see you next time. Bye.